keep it moving now. Don't you see what I'm doing? Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'm Aaron Crane, and this is your Region 10 Recap. Over at Snow Canyon, the Warriors hosted the Desert Hills Thunder. It was the Warriors who struck first when Hunter Johnson fouled Will Warner for the short touchdown pass. Desert Hills would answer right back when Noah Fawilatolo would fire a bomb down the field to Taven Mortensen for a 40-yard touchdown pass. But the Warriors would march down the field again as Johnson would cross the goal line himself to regain the lead. Desert Hills would narrow the deficit with two field goals. One of those coming in as time expired, the Thunder looked to gain some momentum in the second half. Fui Latola would drop back and fire, but be picked off by Coulter Stewart, who would take this one 32 yards in for the score. And this will bring us to our Jones Payton Glass big hit of the week. Looking to punch it into the end zone, Titan Morris would bulldoze two players and then finally be taken down. Then it was Morris who would take it in for the score. And this will bring us to our advanced mobile play of the game. The Thunder looked to strike again with a short toss to the right side. But the ball would be knocked out and scooped up by Will Warner, who would turn on the afterburners and take it all the way down for the score to put this one out of reach. The final score, Snow Canyon 42, Desert Hills 20. Over at Crimson Cliffs, the Mustangs hosted the Hurricane Tigers. It was Hurricane who struck first on a 40-yard field goal by RJ Wright. Hurricane would extend their lead when Ethan Thomas took the handoff and punched it in for 10 yards out. The Mustangs looked to respond as Steel Barbin found Jordan Eaton for an 8-yard touchdown pass. Garrett Grondel would respond from 4 yards out as he went around the right side for the score. The rest of the way would be all Mustangs as Barbin found Eaton again for a 13-yard touchdown. The Mustangs would take the driver's seat the rest of the game and keep the Tigers out of the end zone. The final score, Crimson Cliffs 49, Hurricane 17. Up in Cedar, the Reds took on the Dixie Flyers. Toward the end of a sluggish first quarter, Dixie had scored their first points on the game on a field goal by Jonathan Bibiano. Cedar would get on the board as Lunt completed a six yard touchdown pass to Traden Elliott. With 52 seconds left before halftime, Jalen Schultz found Blake Watson on a 46 yard touchdown pass. Parker Christopher would add three more for the Reds on this 34-yard field goal. Down by seven, Schultz lofted it up the middle to receiver Jackson Barbin, who caught it in the end zone with 59 seconds left. Down one, the Flyers decided to go for two. Schultz would keep the ball up the middle and wouldn't be denied as he crossed the goal line to give his team the lead late in the fourth. Cedar would heave a desperation throw that would be picked off by the Flyers to end the game. Final score, Dixie 25, Cedar 24. The Region 10 recap is brought to you by Finley Subaru, Infinity Title, Jones Paint and Glass, State Bank of Southern Utah, The Rally Stop, Nets on Fire, Advanced Mobile IV, and Intermountain Sports Performance. For St. George News, I'm Aaron Crane.